Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Italian nougats. Uh, these, I'm gonna pronounce the name wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these are Marie Ange de Costa. I, I would say like Angie, A-N-G-E, Angie. Da Costa, assorted small nougats coated with dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, and orange flavored glaze. So there's gonna be four different kinds we're gonna be trying. Um, there are 18 servings in the container. Two pieces are 107 calories. They were $6.99 for the bag at home. And I'm just, that was easy. It was, it's like yeah, a sticky. <laughs> okay. So, my handy dandy scissors. You get quite a few. Yes, you do. So, there are four different kinds. Okay, so which one do you want to try first? Um, let's try the white chocolate bar. So, this yellow one. Vanilla. Yeah, I bet it is. I mean, not yellow, but blue. It's the yellow one? The yellow one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It looks like it says vanilla, but I'm assuming that means yeah. white chocolate. It is. Yeah, the word on here looks. It looks like vanilla. It, yeah, that's it. It looks like a little um, Kit Kat. Ooh, yeah. It it's does. about the shape of a Kit Kat, about the size of the look. Yeah. Kat. Oh wow. Who's inside of it? Is it got a nut in there? It's nougat. It's. No, it looks like a nut. It does. Mm, it's a nut. Almonds. Mm. You will love that because that's a mm -hmm. um, marzipani kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. in the texture. It's gr it's gritty. It's like, like sugar. chalk. <laughs> yeah. it's, I don't mind it though. It's not like sand in your mouth texture. It's not hard like chalk, but it is like chalky. Yeah. I love that. the flavor of the almonds. The, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if it's because these are in the same bag with the orange, but I taste orange. Um, I get more of just like cherry almond little, flavor. And I don't I'm think like a little touch of orange. I don't think it was done intentionally. Come but when you sweet. mix flavors in a bag, oftentimes it just seeps in. And that had a little bit of an orange. Of course, I do have all these orange ones under my nose too. Um, no, I guess, I guess it had kind of an orange. So we want to try blue the blue one is the milk. The milk. We want to try milk next. Mm. Yeah. Another, another almond in the middle. I'm assuming the nougat in the middle is going to be the same. Wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. So has that same flavor though. Even though that is milk chocolate, that is incredibly sweet. Mm -hmm. And super sweet. I love the flavor of that milk chocolate. I'm a white chocolate lover, but by this company, that milk chocolate was much, much sweeter than the white chocolate. Mm -hmm. Seemed like it. It was yeah. very much sweeter. So this is this the dark, dark, and I didn't I get an that, almond. Yeah, yeah I didn't was, get an almond in this one. I guess it's kind of random. They probably, you know, it's probably a big tray that cut them. Mm -hmm. mm. I got it in my bite then. There was some in there. Mm -hmm. Mm, that dark chocolate is actually really good. It's delicious. It's just dark enough to be dark, mm -hmm. but not dark enough to be like really bitter. That said, that really, good, that really goes well with that. It goes middle. very well. That that said, there is a touch of bitterness to oh, it. Oh yeah, definitely. There's some. It bitterness. even is a little. It's drier, like most dark chocolates are, and I love that. That is beautiful dark yeah. chocolate. That really, I, the two work really well together. They do. Kind of like a dark chocolate and a peppermint patty. Mm -hmm. They really go good together. These two flavors really yeah. go good together. Uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, we haven't, one. yeah, we haven't had anything that dark chocolate paired so well with before, I don't think. Mm -hmm. This, it's it really just good. really goes well with this. Yeah, this so then this orange. one's the orange flavored glaze. And you don't see it on me.
No, those first those first ones didn't taste like orange. They didn't taste like no, this orange. They didn't. You're right. They tasted more like that marzipan-y kind mm -hmm. of flavor. You're right. He's he's right. And the almondy kind of flavor. That, that orange is nice. Yes. It's like a creamsicle almost. Yes. That's what yes, that's where I was going. I was going to say that. If you've ever had a creamsicle where mm -hmm. you uh, on the inside it has the white it's all orange on the outside and then it's white on the a creamsicle. Um, that's what exactly what that mm -hmm. tastes like. It's good. These are wonderful. Yeah. Now how would you describe the texture of that middle part? It's grainy like like sugary kind of it's almost like brown sugar that's packed together mm -hmm. um, and then you put it on your tongue and it kind of melts and comes mm -hmm. apart um, but it, there's a little bit of a chew to it too oh yeah yeah that's true you, you know it, it, so it's not just like crumbles it doesn't crumble either right it's, yeah it's you, hard to explain it said compare it uh ten dollars so we got them for 6.99 uh normally they're ten dollars um I think these would be really good for like for Christmas like stocking stuffers. Yes. Or even just a, a, a put out for a little if you're having a party you put them out in a little um, bowl like a candy dish of some kind. I'm gonna take a picture because the packages are beautiful. Yeah, they, they kind of look really like old are. School, don't they? they remind me Vintage of some G. packages that Silke has sent us from Germany before. Yeah. Um, the the packages in Germany are just absolutely beautiful. They have beautiful artwork. As a matter of fact, the artwork is mentioned on the back. Um, it's called Flower Fairies, and it, the artist, it says the estate of Cicely Mary Barker, and it even gives the website, visit the Flower Fairies, website at www.flowerfairies.com. So, I noticed stuff like that. It, yes, absolutely beautiful artwork. You don't see artwork like that. No, what? over here it's just colors and writing. Now, occasionally, Hershey's will come out with like a vintage-y looking uh, mm -hmm. uh, wrapper, some Santa which I think is cool. I love it when they do the vintage wrappers. Vintage wrappers on anything, to me, is, you know, that that's a big seller. But to have a beautiful artwork like this is rare. Um, in places like Italy and Germany, they really do it up well. And we've had some... Um, uh, chocolate on the more expensive side also from the United Kingdom that um, like they sell in Harrods and places like that that has some beautiful artwork too especially at Easter so I will have a picture uh, for you at the end if you buy these uh, make sure you pay attention to them. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all if you can find this brand. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.